What's going on, everyone? I'm the impressionist, Stevie D. Pastino. Doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I this video is gonna be unedited. Um, I just wanted to take a moment and talk about some stuff that's going on with uh, the state of YouTube and just the internet as a whole. Um, and you guys probably already know what I'm gonna talk about. Um, it's Copa. Uh, I just heard about this recently, and apparently it's been going on for, for a bit, um, but I'm just hearing about it now, and this scares the living hell out of me for just YouTube in general and its future. I, I'm by no means a popular creator. I have 308 subscribers as of recording this, and um, I want to show I want to show an article to you guys uh, real quick I'm just gonna switch over um, to this article here YouTube creators worried and confused over new kid video Copa rules uh, and potential fines YouTube starting this month is requiring all creators regardless of location and whether or not they produce content intended for children to des designate whether their videos are made for kids and many youtubers are concerned that the new rules will hurt their demonet their excuse me their monetization or even expose them to fines if their content is misled that right there <laughs> that, that right there um half of that is like okay cool whatever i'll just change my settings to show that what i make is you know appropriate for you know a specific audience um but even that apparently is not going to be good enough so um uh, it, yeah it says new rules hurt their models okay even expose them to fines if they're con they're they're willing to find you not just not youtube youtube creators so you and me they're willing to find us the people who make youtube the place that it is even though again i'll say i'm not a too popular guy but we 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 provide content for this this platform and without us you know who's going to be in charge and it's probably going to be people that can either afford this type of billing or people that are well known enough to, you know, have a specific, you know, way that they work and um, and, and already have their, their stuff together. But independent creators who are more loose with the stuff that they make, um, they're going to have a hard time. So independent creators like me and you and 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 you know the pop, the more popular people out there and especially gamers you got Jacksepticeye you got Markiplier PewDiePie has already faced a, a bunch of stuff just already you know just throughout his uh, YouTube career so he's probably used to it by now but this is this is not just like something that you know is only going to be affecting the popular people. Um, this is something that's going to affect all of us. And I want to get back to the article here. It says, um, the change is the result of YouTube's uh, 170 million settlement with the FTC and the New York Attorney General for alleged violations of the U.S. Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPA. The laws, I'm sorry, the law prohibits internet companies from collecting data from kids 13 and under, and YouTube was uh, accused of violating that law. Now, whether they were violating that law or not, I agree that, you know, they're kids, they're gonna, you know, the information you're gonna get them from probably isn't gonna be very accurate anyway, and, um, I mean, kid, kids, you know, kids just have a really short attention span, um, the, you know, and it's really easy to get views from kids anyway, so I, it probably, you know, I, I could be totally wrong, I could be totally wrong about this, but in, in my, as far as I see it, that shouldn't have really been a thing that they had been doing in the, that they should have been doing in the first place. They should not have been collecting information on, um, on, on, on kids and stuff like that. So that was, that was wrong. And if they weren't doing that, then, then that's an even bigger problem because now they are under accusation of something that they possibly didn't do. Um, which Again, YouTube is a big, it's a big, you know, thing. And anybody can just lie about their age when signing up for websites and stuff like that. And, um, you know, they, they might have just said, you know, fuck it. Let's just, let's just collect data on kids too. Cause why not? They probably make up a pretty big section of YouTube. And, and let's be honest here. YouTube is not for kids. 
YouTube has never been for kids. That is why there is a specific dedicated YouTube section, YouTube Kids, where children can, you know, and, and parents can allow their children to browse YouTube Kids. My my sister, she has two uh, two young boys. Um, that's that's what they watch. They watch YouTube Kids, and um, and that's where they get all their YouTube content from. So YouTube is, it can be a safe place. It just needs more, you know, regulation by parents. And, you know, it just needs smarter parenting. And that's where a lot of issues in the world stem from is bad parenting. Um, so let's go on to read the document. Um, and I kind of went on a tangent there, but um, let's see. YouTube is putting the honest, I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, the on us or honest, whatever, on creators to comply with COPA. If you fail, quote, if you fail to set your audience uh, accurately, you may face compliance issues with the FTC or other authorities, and we may take action on your YouTube account, according to YouTube's Help Center document document on the topic. Now, if you guys um, <sighs> if you guys don't watch my videos, I want to show you my channel. Um, I make a lot. Oh, I guess it's three hundred seven. Whatever. It was three hundred eight this morning. Damn subscriber bots. Anyway, um, yeah, like I I make a lot of content where like I'll have titles um that are pretty I guess like what I don't know what you say obscure um don't watch this video by the way it's my most popular video I hate it um but yeah it's it's got like I don't I don't have a lot of views and 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 my titles could be a part of the reason why I don't but you know like Apparently, okay, so you have to set your audience accordingly. And I've taken the steps. I've gone in to, uh, you know, my settings and changed uh, my settings to say that, that, that my content is, is not meant for children. Um, I've, I've taken that step. And, um, you know, I've got these videos that have, like, names on them. That I have the name of the game most times, but, but other times it's it's stuff that's just you know, kind of like out of the way and it's just like a, maybe an, an off reference or something like that. Basically, if you want to make a title or something that, you know, is like a, you know, is, is off topic um, enough, like if you're making a reference or something, you know, if it's off topic even a little bit, they can, they can say that uh, you basically is false advertising and um, they can penalize you for it. So, um, um, that's one of the things that's, that's making me afraid right now. Um, because that's something that I do a lot. And so as creators are subject to potential fines for running uh, a foul of COPA, according to the FTC, the law allows for civil penalties of up to $42,530 per violation, accord, uh, according to, uh, according to the agency. That is that that is um yeah that right there is anything but civil you see this you see this word here i'm using obs you see this word right here it's anything but that anything but civil i mean youtube used to be this this wonderful this wonderful place where you could create freely and now it's turned into this um, says, however, the FTC considers a number of factors in determining the appropriate amount, including company's financial condition and the impact penalty could have on its ability to stay in business per a November 22 blog post. Okay. Then there's a video here. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll link the video to this article, by the way. If you guys want to uh, read it yourself, you can see the videos. And read. I, don't, I don't know if this has anything to do with what's going on, but... Um, if you guys want to read this article, I'll post a link to it. Um, so if there's anything I missed, you guys can go over that. But it says, um, that alone has sent shockwaves through the YouTube community and has even led to some creators to delete videos or threaten to leave YouTube altogether. I don't, I don't want to do it, but I'm considering, I'm considering just not creating for YouTube anymore. Um, it's, it's not something that I want to do, but if this is the, I, I do <laughs> I am currently between jobs. I do not have the money 
to be fined for something I have, you know, no clue how to take control of and have, you know, effectively no control of it all. And that that that's that's the part that terrifies me is, you know, just just the the seriousness of all of it and the the the, the punishment of just being creative and, and, and contributing to this platform. I mean, that, I mean, this person here in the article says it fairly enough. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually just gonna go full screen here. Okay. So we can get a better look at this stuff. <sighs> this Copa shit is terrifying. Daniel Pitts, AKA Doopy. I've never seen their videos before, but um, probably a well-known YouTuber. A YouTube animator or voice... Yeah, voice actor tweeted this week. Okay, my videos aren't directed to children, but I can still get fined uh, $42,000 for marketing my video as meant for adults because it isn't mature enough, which is makes absolutely no sense because it can easily be mistaken. I'm heartbroken. YouTube was my dream. And I, I can honestly say that it, it's it's it was mine as well. Um, I'm also gonna leave a link. I'm sorry, I'm fixing the screen. This has not been edited. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description where you guys can go to sign um, these petitions that are going to, you know, that, that they're trying to keep this from happening, to just undo all this. And um, I'm gonna be leaving links to that in the description. So. Guys, no, I don't know how many people are going to see this video. I don't have a lot of viewers, you know, but if you're seeing this, then we need to do something about this because I don't want to have to leave this, this platform. I don't want to have to give up on this channel that I've worked so hard on and, you know, gotten so little out of, you know, and, you know, what's, what's the point after all this? What, what even would be the point? Do you? Can they see, are they seeing things from our point of view? Can they see things from our point of view? Are they capable of putting themselves into our situation and deciding whether or not this is even a fair approach? And maybe, maybe try to re-examine the situation and, and act differently. Who knows? And I think the answer is, I'm a bit of, I'm, I'm very cynical when it comes to, to corporations and things like this where, where it's been, you know, people taking control over things and, and, and charging people money. I, I don't think the answer is yes. I don't think they're inherently capable of making that decision. I don't think they're capable of making, you know, mature decisions that, that will affect everyone, you know, better as a whole. I don't think that they are, I think they're prideful and I think they're stubborn. And I don't think that they care because they're a business, they're business people, they do business shit. And sometimes in business, you got to let people go. And um, they don't care. They don't care about that at all. So I'm going to go back to the article. I'm going to try to keep this video short. I don't want to take up too much time. You know, it's already been 13 minutes. That alone has sent shot. Okay, we've already seen this. Okay. Uh, some YouTubers are issuing dire uh, predictions about the impact of the platform's new COPA rules. Here we are. <laughs> Uh, if it doesn't get more attention, you can pretty much expect the end for gaming, animation, and cartoon videos on YouTube, which gaming and, you know, animation and stuff like that is stuff that I'm a part of. There's a YouTube channel that I do voices for. It's called Studio Meraki. It's got way more subscribers than I do. Um, and I'll link that as well. And we, we do comic dubs and stuff like that. I'm, I do, um, I'm in the Scoob and Shag one and the Overwatch one. I do some characters for those. And um, I, you know, I, I, we just actually uploaded another video um, just today of, as of recording this. So, um, yeah, like p things like that, they, they're going to suffer from this as well. And, and I don't think anyone's, I don't think anyone's safe. My gaming content, you know, that's what I was, that's what I was supposed to be able to do. That was my shtick. I was going to do games and I was going to do voices and I was going to voice act. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a, a large portion of what I set out to do on this platform now after Copa. 
And, um, you know, a lot of people's favorite YouTubers are going to suffer from this. So if you care at all, you need to act because your favorite YouTubers, the ones you watch probably every day, if you're one of those people that watches YouTube every day, they're, they need your help. Not just me. I'm, I'm not asking for me. I'm, I was doomed before I started uploading. You, you guys, you guys need to help. Um, even if you don't, even if you don't care about YouTube specifically, even if you don't watch YouTube, you need to think about what this entails as far as, you know, just freedom in general, the freedom of, you know, expression, just being human. It's, it's not good. It doesn't look good. This violates so many basic human rights. And or at least I think it does. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty frustrated because now there are things that I'm restricted from doing. So I, 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 you know, freedom of expression. Yeah, that's a human right. Whatever. Um, let's just get on with the, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just, I'm probably just angry and I'm probably just speaking from, from a point of anger rather than a point of logic. Um, I'm going to spock this shit if I possibly can. So back to the article. All right. For starters, that means YouTube's videos. Okay. Well, wait, hold on. Okay. There's another part of YouTube's COPA. Um, compliance. Oh, hold on. There's there's a part I missed. Okay, that's a good more. Okay, you can uh, send the fleet ads. Okay, um, animation cartoon videos on YouTube. All right, tweeted Alex Garducci, aka Relax Alex, who makes gaming videos on his YouTube channel. Basically, Thanos snap YouTube. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's what it feels like. There's another part of YouTube's COPA compliance rules that is causing major concern. Starting in January 2020. YouTube will limit the data it collects for YouTube. Uh, it collects for videos, excuse me, marked as made for kids under the government settlement. For starters, that means YouTube videos designated for kids will not be able to include targeted advertising. In addition, a whole slew of other features that depend on user data will be disabled, including comments, channel branding, watermarks, the uh, the donate button, cards and end screens, live chat, live chat donations. Uh, notifications and save to playlist or watch later features um, which is basically half of YouTube's entire tool set <laughs> is what that is they're basically for that specific section of YouTube they are now basically handicapping YouTube as a whole and um, that's just wrong that is just so so incredibly wrong um, People who make kids content now can't monetize. At least that's what it seems. That's what it looks like at the moment. They're not going to be able to monetize. They're not going to be able to get ads because you know targeting kids for ads now it's bad. Um, I mean, I, I hate ads. You know, I hate ads. I hate having to watch ads just as much as anybody else, which is why I, you know, got on a a, a YouTube Premium plan. I don't have to watch ads now. But, um, they're, they're just, they're basically just deleting them for kids content creators. And that, that is not okay. Because now that's people's livelihoods you're taking away. You're basically firing people who are supposed to be working for themselves. You're basically taking away their ability to make money and sustain themselves. For, for what? For what? Honestly. Says, plus the kid video designation um, will apparently make them unsearchable. On Thursday, uh, Perry Grip, a daytime Emmy winning, Emmy winning songwriter whose long running YouTube channel features songs about food and animals, noticed that videos marked in YouTube for kids don't show up in a Google search. As if at Google is censoring all of my wholesome kid friendly videos, Grip said to a, uh, Grip said in a tweet. Excuse me. No raining tacos, no space unicorn. Who who does this help? And sh and they're right. It doesn't. That's like putting. That's like blurring. Wholesome content. That that's basically what you're doing. You're basically like you're like this, um, like Frozen. All right. Um, which has adult jokes in it, by the way. Frozen. Um, and somehow that got through. 
you know, you just basically you 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 mute the entire you know, let it go song, and you blur every you know you blur what's her name's face. Uh, <laughs> that's basically what they're doing. Um, or or they 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 run into this into the you know place and, and they they just take the the you know the frozen movies off the shelf and you can't buy them anymore. Um, you know, force Amazon to stop release. That's basically what they're doing. They're they're just making things inaccessible for absolutely no reason, and it's just insane. I'm I'm a person who's against censorship in any sense of the word. Um, I think censorship is funny when used right. Um, like if I wanna, you know, if I just wanna say some some stuff, and like I go in and I and I press like this this censor button. No, it's not working, but you know you know what I mean. I think I have it in my soundboard. But like, yeah, I I want to say something, and then I just yeah, you know, do that. That's funny. If if I'm gonna like, you know, I start talking, I'm like, you mother. And then I just like do something. If, if use use comedically, censorship's great. But for this, um, yeah, so I'm 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 very against censorship. I don't know why it took so long to explain that the way that I did. I like to go on tangents. You can go ahead, skip to a part that makes sense if you want to. This I don't. This video is never gonna get monetized anyway, so who cares? Um. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the uh, the next part of the article. Um, okay. According to YouTube, it will be um, use machine. Oh, sorry. According to YouTube, it will use machine learning to help us identify videos that are clearly directed to young audiences and may override a channel or creator's audience um, setting choice. Okay, you can stop freaking out now. In case of error or abuse, YouTube creators can set their entire channel to made for kids or mark only specific videos as such. Again, however, creators are advised uh, that YouTube is not responsible for protecting users from from Ill, from legal liability. If you need help determining uh, whether or not your content is made for kids, check out this help center article and consulting legal. I'm gonna actually, I'm actually gonna open that in a new tab. I want to send you guys that link in case you guys are you know, may, trying to make that content or whatnot. So if you're not too sure, you can, I'm, I'm going to go to that article myself. I'm actually going to not read it right now, but I'm going to go to it later. Um, there's also the question that, um, excuse me. There's also a question that a video is made for kids even, even means, oh, I'm sorry. There's also the question what videos made for kids even means. According to the FTC, there's no, one size fits all answer, but in general, it says the COPA rules apply to the in intended uh, audience is kids under 13. I'm sorry again about this whole thing freaking out and just like jerking all over the place. Um, so, yeah, it's basically if they don't even know what to look for when, you know, censoring your content, then what's the point? If they could organize, if they could get their shit together, and then they wanted to do this shit, and they wanted to do this shit with a in a, a better way, I'd say fuck it, why not? Fuck it. As long as nobody's losing money, as long as everybody's content gets to be seen, as long as nothing's getting censored, that doesn't need to be censored, we're good. But they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. They have no clue what the fuck they're looking for, and their robots have no fucking clue what they're looking for. So why the fuck are we in this mess? This makes no goddamn sense. I want everybody right now who, who watched this video... I'm gonna... Again, I'm gonna look for those for those links. I'm gonna put them in the description. Go and, and sign this petition. Sign this petition to tell these fuckers that what they're doing is just absolutely just ridiculous, and they need to fucking stop. Because, um, you know what? Usually I'd say the vote doesn't matter, but in this particular instance, I care so much about this that I'm at least going to try. And all of you should as well. Because as cynical as I am, even I'm willing to put in the work for this. And that's saying something. So, if you guys don't want this, if you guys don't want fascism on the internet, and on YouTube, then um, help a brother out. And um, I don't know, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm working on the uh, the next Skyrim Abridged video, uh, episode.
Uh, let's hope that doesn't get absolutely destroyed by this. Um, thanks for watching, I guess. See ya.